How to use a TFT screen with Arduino. I'm gonna show you how. First, search on Google on TXT Display Arduino. Then we get this, this one. You need to have this URL to get the code for this software. Underneath the page, you can find it. It's this one. You can copy it all the way. Then we paste it in our Arduino project. Okay, so now we insert the Arduino by USB. Then you find your board. I use Arduino Nano, but if you have a, an Arduino Uno or Leonardo, you can select it also here. Um, select your port, your serial port. After that, you can upload it to your Arduino. Let's start with the first pin. We connect the digital pin 10 to the CS pin on the screen. After that, we connect the reset pin to the digital pin 8 on the Arduino. Then we connect the digital pin 9 to the DC pin on the screen. Then we connect the SDA to the digital output 11 on the Arduino board and the digital pin 13 to the SCL pin on the screen. After that we connect the ground and the VCC to 5 volts on the Arduino. So now you see it will show your value on the pin. The value is now random but we want it to be standard at zero. That's why we put a resistor between the ground and the analog zero pin. Let's test it and connect the button. I have a touch button that works the same as a normal button. Once we touch the button it will give us a value. This time around 619. We can also connect a pot meter, a potential meter. Now you see if I turn the potential meter, it will change its value. The signal pin on the pot meter is connected to the analog zero on the Arduino. We can also do this with a normal button. Now we do it with an LDR, it's the light sensor. We connect the light sensor to the analog zero and the 3.3 volts. And you can see if I put my finger on it, the value goes down. And if I give more light, the value goes up. Okay, to understand a little bit more about this code, we, we go to the void loop and we see our TFT screen dot stroke. All the numbers are at the highest, it's 255. But, um, and that's why the color is white. If red, green and blue are on, so the color is white. So if you want to have it green, we put this one on zero and this one on zero. Then we upload it again. And the value will turn green. So if you want to do the same with red, you want a red color. And then you put this one on the maximum, 255. And you upload it again. You see it will turn red. But what if I want the text above the value to be blue? Then we have to go to our setup. This one is 
set the font color to white, but we want it blue. Um, this color is for blue, this one is for green, and this one is for red. So we want only this one blue. This one will go to zero, this one too, and we upload it again. You'll see the text will turn blue. Okay, so we have sensor value, but I have a light sensor on it. And I just want it to show light. Then we are going to change this one in light. This is the text above the value and we upload it. You can also change the font size. It's now on 5 but you can for example set it on 10. It's way too large but we can, we can try it, upload it. You'll see the, the font size is a lot bigger, maybe a bit too big. Thanks for watching. This won't fit in one line, so I have to do slash n. And that will make it enter. So the watching goes underneath, thanks for. And I want this out of it because now I don't have I don't need a value on the screen. So here you see, thanks for watching guys. And please let me know if you want more projects like this with explanation on how these things work. Please let me know. Thank you.